Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So in a previous video, I found that because GeoGebra had changed its software, two of my applets didn't work. So I recreated just to show you that my historic geometric theorem, which is a derivation from the new calculus, works for any function that is smooth over a given interval. In other words, the objections by those fucking idiots like Marcus Cliver, uh, Jean-Pierre Massage and all those fools who have railed against me on Reddit uh, are irrelevant. So let's begin. Uh, before I continue, <laughs> I must show you that when I tried to get unbanned, it directed me to Reddit. I mean, what does GeoGebra have to do with Reddit? And here's another strange thing. You cannot type GeoGebra in the title of the GeoGebra account on Reddit. <laughs> uh, also, I found quite amusing is that everybody else can libel me, you know, everybody else, uh, but I can't retaliate. So if you go to that link and you check all the comments there, they're disgusting. They're from morons like most of those who comment on my channel who don't know any mathematics. But so anyway, let me show you once again that my stark geometric theorem, which is explained in this article, to which I'll place a link, okay, applies to all functions that are smooth over a given interval. Okay, This stuff, it's not something that you can question, you stupid morons. It's, it's a theorem. It's fact. It doesn't matter whether you agree or not. Your agreement is irrele irrelevant. You're all baboons compared to my intelligence, okay? And I'm sorry I need to be mean, but you're idiots, and idiots need to know their place, right? So let's begin. I'll show you with a slew of functions. So let's begin with the most common, x squared. See, you see it here, x squared. So the secant line slope is equal, the red secant line slope is equal to the tangent line slope, the green tangent line slope, plus a slope difference, this f1, okay? which means you could effectively write this as geometrically, by the way. This is geometric, you morons. It's not something that you can just do out of your asses. It's F2 over H plus F1 over H. Why is it that? Well, you need to get off your fat asses and go and study this article, okay? You need to study this. Otherwise, you won't understand. It's not that easy. Yes, it is easy, but not that easy. For, you, for most of you, it's hard because you're idiots. But that's understandable. All right, so that's the first part. Now, it doesn't only work for the derivative because the derivative is included in this expression here. Okay, so if you look at this uh, expression here, this identity, this fantastic identity, which fixes up your bullshit calculus, the derivative which is this guy here, and the difference is in this expression. And it doesn't matter if the red secant line lies above the tangent line or below, or the curve is facing that way or that way or this way or that way. It doesn't matter, okay? It always works, and I'll show you with a slew of functions. Then you may ask, well, how do we know th that... Uh, that the terms that do not contain h are the tangent line. Well, think of it, you morons. Look, this green line, does it depend on this interval h? It doesn't depend on it. The, the red secant line depends on h, but the green secant line doesn't depend on h, okay? It has nothing to do with h. This bullshit that you learn in your normal calculus of h going to zero, that's just brainless crap that has come out of the sewer minds of the academics who came before me, who didn't understand mathematics, don't have an aptitude for mathematics, and who all ended up being set theorists or topologists, okay? So, because that's not mathematics, and that's the only thing they could excel at. So, understand this. You don't need h for the tangent line. It is a function. Let's say it is a function in x, okay? So you're not going to have h in here. So when you separate the terms, as I explain in my theorem, okay, in this theorem here, which I'll place a link to, 
you need to study it. You can't just read through it. It's, you're not smart enough to read fast enough and understand. You need to study it. And I've, I've kept it as simple as possible so that, yeah, morons like you can understand it. So let's go through the slew of functions. So I've used x squared, and I can show you that the integral is also found from that. And here's the integral, okay? Same expression. All I've done here is I've multiplied both sides of this expression here by h, okay? So the integral is found by multiplying both sides by h. That is effectively equal to this, okay? Very good. Now, so there's no limit theory, no bullshit of real analysis, no bullshit of set theory, none of that garbage. It's all geometric. So uh, let's go to another function. Let's choose, uh, let's take the logarithm function. How's that? Here, here you go again. Same story, okay? It works, you bitches. Do you understand that? It's, it's not up to you to tell me that it's wrong. You're not on my level, you fucking morons. Understand that. I'm a genius. You are mental midgets. Know your place. Know your place. Okay. And again, I'll show you here that it works. And the integral works too. See that? Perfect. Okay. So let's do another function. Let's do oh, 1 over x. Uh, um, this is, I'm doing this because of that uh, annoying little dimwit Marcus Cliver who says it only works for polynomials. So I've shown you now that log n works. It's not a polynomial, by the way, right? So let's go here to what's, what's happening here. Okay, right, that's good. So now it works here too, okay? Here it is. I'll give you a link to this app, and you can play with it. So that's the derivative that's included in here and also the integral. Okay, so the derivative is always what, what you find uh, when you evaluate the expression without h. And notice that in the geometry, you don't really give a shit what this difference q of xh is. It doesn't matter because it's geometric and it works for every function that is smooth over a given interval. That means if I had to move these... Uh, values that you see over here, then as long as the function is smooth, it'll work. So it works for 1 over x, okay? Well, let's try a trigonometric function. How about sine? Okay. Right. So sine also works, doesn't it? See that? And we can take that, and there we have the area, okay? There we have the area. So it's all good, isn't it? Let's go back to the derivative. So I've done trigonometric, logarithmic. Let's do exponential, e to the x. This is all geometry now, by the way. It's got nothing to do with your limit bullshit or anything else. This is geometry, okay? Geometry. It's sound mathematics, okay? And no, it's yeah. Cranks might think that geometry is the only way, but you know. You can't have every crank being a genius. <laughs> Your mother should have aborted you, you morons. Okay, so that's the derivative, and this is the integral. And once again, it works, doesn't it? Of course it works. Okay, so we've seen a trigonometric function and an exponential function. Let's do just one more for fun. 2 to the minus x. Okay. And this one works too. You just have to explode it and you'll see everything. Okay. Works perfectly. And if you go to the integral, yep, you got the area and it's expected to be negative because it's a product of two arithmetic means and it lies below the x axis. So I've shown you a slew of functions, you bastards, who say that this doesn't work for all functions. Marcus Cliver, pull your thumb out of your ass and pay attention to what I'm telling you right now. This doesn't only work. And also that idiot Jean-Pierre Massager from France, a prize idiot, by the way, and all the other prize idiots on Math, extract your heads from anus. That is the only way you'll understand what I'm telling you. You don't know better. You, you are suffering from Dunning-Kruger. 
the very thing you accuse me of is what you've been suffering from all the time. And sorry, I cannot treat you with respect because you're not respect worthy. Scum like you should never have been allowed into a mathematics classroom. I mean, you're so intellectually dishonest, you're so uh, ignorant, you're so arrogant, and you're so incompetently stupid, just like the moron professors who produced you. You are part of the production line of idiots from mainstream mathematics academia. It's as simple as that. Very well then. If you're not already a subscriber, those of you who have brains, become a subscriber to my channel. Click like, follow me on Academia. I'll give you a link to this article. And there are many other articles on here that you can download. And by the way, I also give you a free access to my latest work, which is Learning the Correct Way. Okay, It's free forever because it's priceless knowledge. This, by the way, is even dropped further to the top 2%. Okay, so it's... This is one of the most important books ever written. If you download it here, it's downloaded with a watermark, but you can buy it on Amazon Kindle, okay? For $9 or 9 euros and 99 cents. Here it is, okay? The importance of learning the right way. And it features my spectacular uh, learning method, which by the way, if, uh, those idiots who produce AIs would take into account, would produce chatbots which are far more, quote, intelligent, end quote, than they are currently, okay? Because this tells you how humans actually learn, and it tells you how you learn, and that if you learn wrong, you're in for big trouble. I can tell you that right now, big, big, big trouble. So that's pretty much it. I'm John Gabriel. Till next time, goodbye.